be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to automate plugins in Logic Pro. And let's jump in. So let's just say, for instance, on our last video, I showed you how to use stock plugins to make a dope melody or make your melody stand out or make your melody sound super crazy. Let's say if you wanted to automate these, right? Like turn these on or off at certain points in the beat. Um, basically what you would do, first of all, let's just extend this real quick. I'm gonna highlight everything, push command R. And let's say we want to, uh, the plugins to drop like on measure five, right? All you have to do is just push the letter A, you know what I'm saying? Put your playhead where you want the melody, where you want your plugins to start. Come to the track that has the plugins on it. And if you click right here where it says volume, you're going to see an option to go ahead and access the plugins that you have on your channel. Okay. So let me just show you this too. As you can see right here with this inspector window, um, the plugins are turned off right now. So if you wanted to turn on and off, basically um, you'll have your plugins on, right? Turn them on. You come over here to main, and then what you could do is either bypass certain plugins or unbypass them. So like for instance with this chorus, I can click there, and then right now. I'll just click and do a point and put this on here and then it will bypass this plugin at measure five. So let's come over here and you'll see the plugin turn off. So that's how you're going to turn these plugins on and off at different points. Same thing at this flanger. Like say, if I wanted everything to turn off here, go to do the same thing. We'll come over here to where it was saying volume, click on main. And we we'll could just bypass it here. We'll put click two nodes, one at the beginning, right here, and bypass it. Same difference. And then right here on that uh, ring shift, just click a node here, push that up, and put it where you want it. So now I'm gonna play this, and basically what's gonna happen is when this melody gets to uh, measure five, it's gonna bypass the plugins and turn them off. So let's check it out. Cool thing about this is I can come back in here, click another point, turn it down here like that, and then just have whichever plugin I want to come on. So like with this ring shift, I can have that come back on at uh, measure nine. And then maybe let's bring in this uh, flanger at measure 13. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to show you how you can automate turning plugins on and off in Logic Pro. Um, appreciate you watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you get subscribed. Also, make sure you check out my website, beatmakingbasics.com. We have a lot of different dope courses that you can download, sample kits, and mixing templates. Plus, we have the Beat Making Master Bundle that comes with every single thing on our site for a low price. So, check all those things out. 
there's also links in the description and, and posted in the comments so just click on those things and we got some good dope stuff for y'all i'll see you in the next video we're out